Hi, it's John from Android Addicts, and today we're going to be doing a CPU comparison test between the Galaxy S21 and its brand new Exynos 2100, and last year's Galaxy S20 Ultra with the Exynos 990. So I've got both of these set to Full HD, 1080p, and they're both running at 120Hz, and I'm just going to run through each of these benchmarks and we'll just see how they compare. You'll also notice that on the side of the screen we have a thermometer here, which is measuring the temperature of both phones. So we're starting here at about 28 degrees, on the S20 Ultra and 22 degrees on the S21. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a Antutu benchmark test here. Now I did try one a minute ago, but it actually crashed on the S20 Ultra, so I'm just restarting it now. Let's see how they get on.
Okay, so we can see from the results here that the Galaxy S21 with the Exynos 2100 has completely destroyed the S20 Ultra from last year with its Exynos 990. So we had a temperature increase of 7.7 on the S21 and a increase of 9.7 on the S20 Ultra. So this has really gotten pretty warm. You can feel in this sort of usual place around here, whereas this feels quite cool to the touch still on the S21. Okay, so next up we're going to run Geekbench and just see how they compare. You can see the specs of the CPUs here. So let's see how the results look. Okay, so here are the Geekbench results. So again, the S21 is really showing up the S20 Ultra here with its score of 1,074 for a single core and 3,321 for the multi-core score. So I'll just go down the various information here so you can have a quick comparison. Okay, and now we're going to run through the compute benchmark. Okay, so we've got the compute benchmark in now as well. So the S21 wins with 7539 compared to the S20 Ultra's 5496. So again, you can see the performance results here between the two. If you want to pause and uh, have a bit of a comparison, you can. Okay, for the final test today, we're going to run a 3D Mark, and we're going to start with the wildlife test here. Okay, so that seemed to run quite nicely on the S21. Well over 30 frames per second most of the time. And you can see that reflected in the score here. Average frame rate 34.9 compared to 25.7 on the Ultra. And last but not least, we're gonna try the Slingshot benchmark.
So again here we can see that the S21 is the winner with 7841 compared to 7571. And although the graphics test 2 was actually faster on the S20 Ultra here on the right, in every other test it, uh, it did fail. Okay, so there we have it. Let me know what you think down below. Are you impressed with the Exynos 2100 compared to the 990 from last year? I think I have certainly uh, seen a massive improvement. But I'm going to be doing some gaming tests and some proper FPS tests on these two phones to compare them. So be sure to check out those videos which are coming very soon. If you have any comments or questions regarding the S21 or the S20 Ultra even, then just leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Be sure to click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. And if you want to become a member of the channel, click on the join button and that really helps out. Until then though, I will see you in the next video.